I use a light box and a, a regular ballpoint pen and a, some kind of tracing thing. You can use a ruler or a piece of cardboard or I'm using template plastic. We're going to turn each unit over in the paper and we're going to transfer the stitching lines to the back of the paper. And this will help later when we're trying to place the fabric before we stitch. So I'm going to go just on, on each line and go make the lines go all the way to the outside into the seam allowance. And just go and trace each line. And I'm also going to transfer the fabric letters. So this is B and this is D and just continue tracing the lines and go all the way to the outside. Now we have all the lines, these are all the stitching lines drawn on the back of the, the unit and we have all the sections with the, the letters. And we always start with section A, we piece that first, then we go to B, C, D, and E. And do that for all of your paper pieces. As I showed you in the introductory video, the pattern is divided into two, three main sections. I'll call this one the left section, the center, and the right section. And you're going to work on these in order. If we look here, this is, we'll call this a unit, and this is unit number one. And the units go from number one over here on the left hand side to number 64 on the right hand side. And it's best to do them in order, that way you don't get things confused. So you'll start in this first part of this section here on the left. It goes from unit 1 to unit 7. So there are seven units here you're going to complete. And you're going to start with number 1, then do 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And once you're done with all seven of these, you can sew these together. And I've already done this. And I'll show you. This is what it looks like from the back. It's kind of big. But this is what it looks like from the back. It's already seamed and the pieces are done. So here is unit one. And there are two fabrics, A and B. And here's unit two is here, and there's also two fabrics here. And so it goes on all the way to unit seven. And here's what it looks like. And what we're looking at here is actually this the left side in this diagram, but it's the right side in the completed quilt. So this is the lower right corner here. So this is what we're aiming for in section in the first part of, se of the left section. Again, that's, that is just 1 through 7 here. And I've also done the next one, which is 8 through 12 over here on this big triangle. Here's what it looks like from the back, all seamed. Papers are still on, and here's what it looks like from the front. So these little blue parts here are these blue parts right here. 